Hello and welcome to It's Only Electric. This is the NEO ET7 with the big battery, 100 kilowatt hours. I recently did a review, a food review of this car. If you did miss that, please check that in the links here above. Uh, this video is about testing this car and more specifically testing the real consumption and range and also noise level and acceleration. So I have a standardized track of 80 kilometers with different speeds between 50 and up all the way to 110 kilometers per hour. The average speed is 93 kilometers per hour. I'm entering the car in 20 degrees on auto, the cabin heat. I'm driving on Eco Pro mode and always keeping to the speed limits. And that way I actually achieve a consistent test cycle to compare different cars. The next thing I do is to measure the noise levels. This car has double paned windows, both in front and at the back. So it is a silent car and it is a luxury sedan. So I expect low numbers when it comes to the noise levels. So I'm going to measure noise in 50, 70, 90 and 110 kilometers per hour. So let's see how that goes. After that, I'm doing the obligatory acceleration test where I actually measure the acceleration from zero to 100 kilometers per hour and zero to 60 miles per hour with a professional track meter. So stay tuned for that. Let's jump in and start with the range and consumption test. I have been driving for 27.6 kilometers. The car has actually consumed five kilowatts uh, of energy since I did the reset and started the trip it has started to rain actually the roads were just fine and dry before starting the trip after a while it started to rain so now I'm driving on wet roads as you see the temperature actually dropped to two degrees from six to four the conditions for scoring a good consumption actually decreased um, I actually changed the mode to Echo mode only. The Echo Plus mode shut down like everything. The suspension went stiff. Uh, the air conditioning turned off. I couldn't even play music or use the massage seats, for instance. So <laughs> I stopped and uh, changed it to Echo. The Echo Plus mode is nothing you use in your daily driving uh, habits. It's just in case of emergency and if you really, really are out of range and need to reach to a charge point. So Echo mode, not Echo Plus mode. Just past the halfway, 42.5 kilometers traveled. Average consumption, 175 watt hours per kilometer equals to 17.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer that's good that's good i expect it to to uh, creep down even more i'm impressed let's see what happens at the end finishing the last stretch of the motorway i've traveled 74.3 kilometers consumed 14.8 kilowatt hours Average consumption seems to be just below 200 watt hours per kilometer or 20 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer. It has gone up a bit since this is the high speed stretch and it's raining heavily as you see. This is about the worst you can get when it comes to consumption. So I'm back home. The 80 kilometers consumption and range test are finished. Consider this as a winter range test, four degrees outside, heavy rain and wet roads, average speed of 93 kilometers per hour. The car over reports the distance a little bit, one and a half percent approximately. So the uh, average consumption during this test was 195 watt hours per kilometer or 19.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer that translates into a winter range of 470 kilometers 
claimed VLTP range of this car is 580 kilometers. I think that a decent winter range uh, and somewhere what I expected. I hoped for a bit lower consumption, but uh, at the end I wasn't expecting this rain, this heavy rain at this time. So maybe my mistake, but I think it's still good to understand the consumption during bad weather. So it is time for the noise test. This car feels very quiet, good soundproofing, double glazed windows all over the car, air suspension, and on top of that also noise cancellation. I really feel the noise cancellation. It feels like a slight pressure over my ears. The same feeling I get when I use my Bose QuietComfort headphones. Not as much, but kind of a pressure to my ears and I'm very sensitive to that kind of pressure but work, this works good for me anyway. A silent car so now it's time for the test. I'm going to test uh, the noise levels uh, on different speeds so 50, 70, 90 and 110 kilometers per hour. I will report back to you very soon. First attempt go! Zero to 60 miles per hour time 3.94 seconds. Zero to 100 Cape time 4.13 seconds. Now it's time for the second attempt. One, two, three, go. Zero to 60 miles per hour time 3.98 seconds. Zero to 100 Cape time 4.24 seconds. That was the acceleration test. 4.13 seconds, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour. The spec says 3.8. I'm not sure if that's with a rollout, one feet rollout or not, but I tried three different runs. The best I could do was 4.13. That's a really good time for such a big car. 2.4 tons, impressed. 0 to 60 miles per hour. 3.94 seconds decent time so that's it range and consumption test acceleration test and the noise test it is overall a great car with a good range and the most silent car I have ever tested so far it will probably take time before I get a car that's more silent than this one let's see acceleration i mean 4.13 seconds 0 to 100 a bit above the specified acceleration time but still very good just a side note this car is running on 19 inch wheels and studless nokian hakka r5 tires it is not the optimal tires when it comes to both range and also acceleration but all in all Great performance, both when it comes to acceleration, decent uh, consumption, and on top of that, a very silent car. So this is really a car that's perfect for long trips. Even if you have four adults, you just activate the massage on all seats, put on some nice music, and just cruise. That's it for now. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it will really help me to do more content like this with cars like this in the future always stay electric thank you for watching speak to you soon